Jose Duncan, number 54, position divisive end and left tackle. I am 6'1", about 205 pounds. Jose Duncan. Jose Duncan has come a long way, let me tell you. Jose Duncan, you know, from freshman year, screwing around in school, screwing around in line practice, being a real jokester, and it really hurt him early on. He didn't always like me. He was he doesn't always my best friend, but it's like I could tell that he didn't appreciate who I was in, in the beginning, what kind of guy and player I was and how I acted in school. But for him, I just decided to mature and do the things the right way. And I remember my junior year in weight room, he displayed to the team that he had a lot of respect for me and that, that really changed who I was. He watched how Wayne Morgan's recruitment was going and then he started to understand, okay, let me get my act together. I had a couple rough few years at E-Rasmus, so I picked it up, got mature, and um, I had to become a leader. And slowly but surely, he got himself together, running around from a, a bottom average to now he's just popping out 80s, and he's really trying to get himself in a situation to get to that scholarship. I don't want to come off either, but that's not our choice. That's coaching. Jose Duncan's got a motor that I've never seen before. When he turns that switch on, it, it, it ain't no turning it off. And there's Jose Duncan with the sack, his second of the afternoon. I'm physical. I fast off the ball and I can shoot my hands very well. Here comes Duncan again. The vocal leader, he's intense. Let's go. Let's blow the team out now. Let's go home. You know, his intensity could get you a 15-yard penalty when you're not looking. He came right next to me. I'm looking for the wrong shoulder. He came here. But he ran, the dive ran Nobody right by you. Nobody filled. Yo, your dive, too. Your dive also. You know that. Relax. This is what happens. You got to keep a cool head. You lost it out there. They got a first down. Relax. I fell down at times. I even played next, another year at JV. And um, that really molded me into, you know what I mean, knowing when the time to buckle up and do the things the right way. So I've done that. And now I'm hopefully going to college under scholarship. He's now starting to gain a lot of Division I interest. He's going to clear and another kid that we're not surprised we playing Division I football. Yeah, next level, you can look from Stony Brook, Wagner, UMass, Temple, for right now. But um, I like I like Stony Brook. I love him. I love him. I love him. I mean, hard worker. Hard. First one in the weight room, last one to leave. First one on the football field, last one to leave. First one at game day. He's here game day, running around the track, stretching, good, good, good. He's everything you do on the football player. Nothing to be nervous about. It's just football. It's just football. Great leader on the field. Uh, he speaks with his pads. We have that swagger about us, but sometimes we lose it. This senior team that we have here, all year we was a freshman, like, yo, what, what about our senior year? What about our senior year? And um, the time is here, and um, I feel like we have a great team to win. We have a great underclassman that can help us win, and um, looking forward to a championship this year, hopefully getting a scholarship.